We want to pour our love on him this evening. Hallelujah. Something happened to me one day and I was talking to myself. Every other person have name for Jesus. They have the name they call God. And something told me, Vivian, I am the nourisher of your peace. That is, he garnishes my peace. So in the midst of all the storm, I still have peace. There is none like him. Is that your testimony this evening? Ah. Oh. oh. Mm. Draw me close to you. Mm. Never let me go. Yeah. I laid all down again to hear you say I am your friend. You are my desire. Oh, no one else could do. Cause nothing else can take your place Cause nothing else can take your place So feel the warmth So feel the warmth of your hands. Help me find my way Help me find my way Bring me back and bring me back to you Sing, you are my desire. Sing, you are my desire. Mm. No one else could do. And no one else could do. And no one else can take your place. To feel, to feel, to feel the one. Feel the world <laughs> Help me find Help me find my way And bring me back to you You're all I want You're all I don't know how you do it, but I like it. 
Your consistency, Lord. You are closer than a friend. I worship you today. Hey, I don't know how you do it, but I like it. Hey, you're consistent in all your ways. Holy Spirit, even now, move from the left to the right. From the right to the left. Move! Let the barriers fall. Let the obstacle fall. Let the limitations fall. Move! Let the captivity break. Let the spell break. Let the yoke break. Move! Let the sickness be arrested. Let the disease be taken away. Move! Let the miracle be performed. Do your wonders now. Fill this house with your glory. Let everyone leave this place without a doubt that your presence has done its wonders. We honor you and we exalt your Father. Unto thee shall the gathering of your people be. O oh God, let no one see me. Let them see you. Take me away from the scene and reveal yourself. Bring the light of your word and drive it home. Let everyone encounter you in ways they've never encountered you before. Let the light of your word shine and arrest the darkness of our hearts. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Please take your seats. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. King James Version, Message Bible. Whatsoever thy hand find that to do. Do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where every one of us is traveling to us. Amen? There are certain truths that you cannot dodge. You can pretend about it, but you will experience it. Amen? Give it to us in Message Bible. What ever turns up if sand shows up grab it if stone shows up grab it if granite shows up grab it oil palm oil fish pepper whatever grab it it's not what you're doing it is the perspective you have about what you're doing there are people making millions out of pepper around the world. Yes or no? There are people making millions out of tissue paper. There are people making millions out of selling notebooks. People making millions from plastic plates. Amen? Whatever turns up, let's go brother. Grab it and do it. Push your neighbor, say neighbor. Grab that stuff. Do that stuff. And do it how? Heartily. All of your heart. Give your heart to it. Give your life to it. Now, this is your last and only chance at it. Whatever you see to do, do it how? This is your last and only chance. Listen, you won't be 20 years twice. You won't be 30 years twice. You won't be 35 twice. You won't be 18 twice. You will never be 40 or 50 twice. Whatever you find passing by you, grab it with your life. Execute it with your last energy. It is your first and last chance at that thing. Let's go. Come on now. For there is neither work to do nor thought to think in the company of the dead where you are most certainly I love message Bible it puts a key in my stomach and turns it as if I wrote it you are most certainly 
on your way. Listen to me. That list today now brought you one day closer to the grave than yesterday. You are not on your way to the womb. Hello? <laughs> your birthday is already settled. And you can only keep adding number to your birthday. Who will be one year again tomorrow? Huh? Never. So since the day you were born, you are up on a race towards somewhere. You, you hate to hear it, but I must tell you, if I tell, that's why David said, he said, teach my, me to number my days that I might apply my heart to wisdom. If I know that this thing I have to do now, I will never have exactly this one to do and get the best of result I must get from it, I will die doing this one. So I believe that you should live your life as if Jesus is coming. The next one second. But plan your life as if Jesus is coming the next 1,000 years. So have all the plans. But ask for execution. Do it one step at a time. One day. At, never allow moments pass with things that should be done, not done. Whatever you find your hand to do, grab it. Dispense energy on it as if this is your first and last chance. And once your time is up, you have no second chance on that job. Say amen, somebody. Proverbs 23, verse 7 a says, As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. You will never be better than your thoughts. You will never see life better in the world than you can see life in your heart. Your perspective about life in your mentality holds the key to your results in life in reality. Your perspective to life in your mentality holds the key to your manifestations in life in reality. Life will never give you what you didn't see in your mind. So perspectives matter. The right perspective to work. That's our message. Now take note of the following. One, there is nothing more frustrating like having someone on a job who is not interested in working. This is what we have in our generation now. Many people on a job not interested in the work. So the boss is not in the office. They buy granite and put legs on the table and chew all day. With several jobs to be done, not done. That's why you can't leave your company to someone to manage for you. Supervision is necessary. Until they've been taught what you're being taught now. That they know that their job is their work. And they work it for life. Very frustrating to hire people to work only to come. And they are not there. Or they are all there. But the work to be done is not being done. Because people brought their grandmother from the village to gossip in the office. People brought the dream they had last night and shared. And they are not experts in interpreting dreams. And they are sitting and looking for who can interpret it among them. And five hours has finished. At the end of the month, they want salary. They have been hired to work for the pay, but they are not interested in the work. It frustrates corporations. It frustrates companies. It frustrates governments. The reason why government work, not a work for Nigeria. Too many people who got a job and are not interested in the work. Look at government power starters. Somebody just comes in the morning, signs the time book, and talks to the boss or friend. I'll come back. Eh? Monday's time book sign. Somebody else signs on Tuesday. So for, for the personal, they come back again Friday for two, three hours. 
Okay, ça va, ça va. <laughs> Doctors are paid to be in the hospital, but they have private hospital, and they are more in their private practices, and the work is not done. Patients are dying and they are receiving money from government monthly and there is nobody to say hey you got the job for the work's sake we must change our world that's why we are here change our world you can't be hired by someone and then you are there loafing around you were employed to add value to your employer lift your hand say I'm a value adder say I am here to improve upon this company. Say again, listen, listen. When they marry you to a family, they are marrying you to change the family. There is something you are here to contribute. Don't ever get a job and loaf around. The only reason God gave you a chance on that job is to write your name in gold. Long after you are gone, your employer must cry forever, ever losing you. That's work mentality. There are people that you fire and you cannot replace. Work mentality sponsors it. And there are people who can misbehave and cannot be fired. Do you know why Aaron died? Miriam died, but Moses had to go on. Raising another Moses is not a day's job. So Aaron, right here, you are dying here. No, 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 die here, die here. Miriam, oh yeah, die there. Miriam, Moses, let's go. Three of us committed the same, the same, the same day. Why are we dying differently? People's relevance matter. And your role in life is what makes you relevant. Don't get hired and you are a liability. Take responsibility for what you're given to do. Do it with all your heart, with all your life. This is where promotion comes from. Success, lift things, breakthroughs, blessings, favors. The boss is not just favoring her. He's favoring her because of her contribution. You can envy her and die of envy. Envy him and die of envy. Proverbs 8, 11, 18. Let's read in three translations. My time is already running. Let's, let's, let's run now. King James first, message and NIV. The wicked walked a deceitful walk. Hey, who is wicked here? Lift your hand. You are wicked. You know. You know. Lift, you are, lift your hand. Hold on. Nobody will lift his hand. Anyone who de is deceitful at what is hired to do is a wicked person. They said, do it this way. You come late. You wait. As your boss goes out, you fold your things and follow. You sit and watch TV. Mo what movie on your phone when you should be doing the work? Deceitful work. The weak put you on the The wicked work, what kind of work? But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure. You see where reward comes from? Righteousness in the place of work. Nobody is blessed because she's handsome. Or, or she's beautiful. Or he's handsome. I just like his face. He looks tall. He looks bright. And look at his Jerry Coil hair. There are many people with fried hair who are poor. In case you think frying hair makes people rich. One day, very soon, you go and barbie because when you fry hair and can't maintain it, you look like rat that fell into oil. It's not in the hair structure. No! It's in the righteousness of what you do when you are working. Blessing will come whether your boss sees it or not. Whether your madam recognizes or not. 
Give it your work, your heart. Why? Work as unto who? You are not serving your boss on the job. You are serving your God on the job. Who will give you a servant to serve you back when your time to honor comes? Baby, he's building you capacity to handle your own. Look at message. Look at message. Deceitful work. Deceitful. Never join government work and join them to sign time book. You came by 10. You signed 8 o'clock. Deceitful work. You were not there. You call your colleague to sign. Deceitful work. You don't like the work. Resign. Come out from the work. Go home. You want the work, the job? Do the work on the job. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm producing labor for the employer. Because inside labor is honor. Inside labor is dignity. If you keep cutting corners, very soon you'll be cut off. Cutting corner ends up cutting your neck. Look at Message Bible. Quickly, there's no time. Bad work. Hey, hey, hey. What is it called? Loud, I want to go. So there is good work and there is what? Bad work. There is good work and there is what? Bad work. You're going to work, but you're working a bad work. So God calls you a bad worker. Bad work gets paid with a bad check. <laughs> Every salary you collect for bad work is bad salary. No wonder you've been working for many years, nothing to show. Bad check. People are working on the same job and you can see them rise. But see you. As you collect, you empty. As before the month is over, you are owing more than the month. Because bad work gets paid with bad check. But good works get solid. Oh, I love this Bible. I love this Bible. I love this Bible. Solid pay. is paid at lands and shake. Bank account that EFCC asks questions about. Solid pay. Somebody here will get solid pay. Before this year is over, somebody qualify for a solid pay. Give me NIV. Quickly, NIV. We're looking at just one scripture. I'm talking about, I'm talking about <laughs> nothing frustrated like getting people on a job who are not interested in the work. That's how your boss feels. When they fire you now, you run to pastor, Papa, 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 take, take, take a look, take a look. I take a look of sack later. My eyes behold iniquity that is produced out of your laziness and liability. And you say, Papa, pray. Papa, overturn, overturn. You give me a job that God didn't appoint me to. When you were playing with the work. Papa didn't pray. You collected all the money. Now, Papa, please bind every devil. The first devil to bind is you. So if you don't want me binding you, whatever thy hand find there to do, do how? Amen, somebody? NIV, NIV, come on, quick, let's run. A wicked man earns deceptive. Any money they pay you for the company you didn't work for. They say work in a shop and you are busy stealing from the shop, stealing money and still collecting salary. Hey! Every now and then. Sweet. Oh. Sorry. 
Before you leave the shop, there are wraps of sweet. You have secret pockets. Biscuits, you can put five bis biscuits in one mouth. You come out from the place. And they are pitying you. They don't know what you swallowed. The end of the month, they pay you salary upon your tea free. Give me the end of the scripture. But he who sows righteousness on his job reaps a sure, a guaranteed reward. Hey. Guaranteed reward is reward beyond the salary. Number two thing to note, God wants you to be a good worker, not a bad worker. A good worker. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10. Proverbs 11, 18. We just saw it now in the Message Bible or NIV. Bad worker. Number three, God is more interested in your attitude towards work than the status of your bank account. God doesn't care what is in your bank account because you can steal it. You can dupe your way to it. You can rob your way to it. You can defraud your way to it. You can kidnap your way to it. You can ritualize your way to it. God is not thinking about what's in your account. He's thinking about the attitude that you put to work to generate the resources. Proverbs 11, 28. Give me all four. King James, Message, NLT, NIV. Let's look at them very briefly and quickly. Look at this. He that trusted in his riches shall what? You put your eyes on your bank account. You're on your way down. You put your eyes on what you have already you're on your way down. Every time you take your eyes off what is coming and put it in what you've already conquered, you are down. But the righteous shall flourish as what? Come on, message, 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 message. A life devoted to things is a dead life. Never let things drive you. Don't put your eyes on your bank account. Keep at your back of my, your job, your work. The attitude that generates these things is more important than the things generated. Look at it quickly. A storm. That life is a storm. It's like a tree that has been cut and is still there on the ground. But everything is dead. He said a, a good, a God-shaped life is a flourishing tree. Next one, which what NLC is it NIV? Okay, whoever trusts in his riches will what? But the righteous will drive like a green leaf. Righteousness is what keeps you ever generating, flourishing, ever prospering, ever growing. Look at NLC, give me NLC quickly. Trust in your money, and down you go, up you go. Come on, talk to me. Up you go. Once your eyes move from the process to the proceed, you are down. It is the process that God is more interested than the proceed. How you get it. Working to get it. Application of energy. Skills. Wisdom. Discernment. Creativity. Bam. If not, you are down. See, everyone can be celebrating you. If God is not smiling at you, you are doomed. To be relevant on the earth for 100 years and be dead for eternity is the greatest foolishness you can ever have. It's better you are relevant for eternity and irrelevant in time. Let's go. Come on now. Are you there? Trust in your money and you are, down you go. But the godly flourish like leaves in what? Spring. Next, number four. 
poor quality work reduces productivity and reduces creativity. Poor quality work reduces productivity. So every company will, the productivity will go down. The creativity goes down. If you're not working well, your creativity level falls. You're not working well, your productivity level falls. It is work that produces results. It is work that produces honor, wealth, glory, grace, dignity, work. When work reduces, all of that reduces. Blessings are sponsored on the frequency of work. The more you work, the more you gain promotion. Say amen, somebody. I can't have four people work for me. One is working tirelessly every day, excessively more than I ask. And then I promote the one who works carelessly. I'll be a wizard. It is work that calibrates our status, our levels. Say amen, somebody. Come on, watch this. Watch this in, in uh, King James, Proverbs 13, 23, my dear. Let's go. Much food is in the tillage of who? This is an irony. An irony. The tillage of the poor. The man is poor. But God says, what I see is much food. Perspective. God sees much food. But the man is a poor man. But this food is in his own tillage. That's within his confines. Within his blessings. Within his prosperity. He can grab it and rise. God sees much food. But this man is a poor man. Why is he poor? There is, there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. How he sees it is why he remains poor. God sees much food, but lack of judgment, judgment, discretion, judgment, decision, judgment, wisdom is why the man remains poor. When God sees much food, I said to us that poor quality work reduces productivity. The man's productivity is reduced because he's working poorly. But God says, as I look at you and where you live, I see much food. But lack of discernment, discretion, wisdom is keeping you a poor man in the midst of much food. Nobody will die like that here in the name of Jesus. Look at Proverbs 6, 10 to 11, King James, the message. Proverbs 6, 10 to 11. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hand to sleep. Look at verse 11 now, quickly. So shall your poverty. There is a poverty that bears your name. Hello? Not my poverty. Say your poverty. I'm not saying you. Say, say, say do like this. Say your poverty. <laughs> the man that is sleeping. The man that is folding his hand. The man that is twinching gum. The man that is tying tall by 11 a.m. And twins twin stick and go work it. And looking at the, 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 the plants. And plucking small flowers that grow around the fence. That's how you see lazy people. He said, that man, why is busy idling around? He has duplicated a neighbor called his own poverty. That has his address. That poverty is put on the screen. That poverty is coming. He's traveling. From when he started living lazy, the poverty started traveling. And he's coming to him like an arm robber. He took arrest him, bam, and take everything he would have had from him. Message, message from verse 10. Message, verse 10. Read, you read. One, uh, no, no, like, like, enjoy this reading with me. One, two, go. A nap here, a nap there, a day off, a day off there. Sit back, take it easy. Do you know what comes next? Go ahead. Just this. You can look forward to a dead poor life. Poverty, your permanent house guest. Hey! Ask anybody, say, who is your guest? Look around your house. When the spring chair is still the spring chair, spring chair, all the foam has lost all the cloth that covered it. Permanent house guest. at your house. As you go back home, just look at the house. Look at the house. 
As you close this night, I challenge you by the Lord Almighty, check your house. Look at the house. Check everywhere in the house. And tell me by SMS what you see. What cost it? Put it again. Message by verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. But not you, not you. I'm trying to escape. I want you to escape from this guy here. This guy here. Go. A nap here. A nap there. A day off. You keep closing the shop. And opening it when you want. I don't feel like going to shop. I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like kind of tired. You speak phonetics with poverty. Check it there. Sit back. Take it easy. Do you know what come ne comes next? Just one thing. You can look forward to a dead poor life. That is a deadly poor life. Poverty becomes your permanent house. You try to... Re have you ever fought to drive someone from your house very the to go? We have a contract. We signed it. Anyone suffering this cost, it is broken. No! Poverty will leave your house. Poverty will leave your family. Poverty will leave your marriage. Can I hear the amen like a thunder here now? All I need is stop all this careless off, off duty, off the, all this careless nap here, nap there. Sit down and take it easy. Wake up and get your life engaged. Money is a spirit. Money does not come to everybody. Money comes to the one he sees working hard. Amen. Number five, declining service cripples economy. Cripples economic growth. Once services decline, economic growth is affected. It might be national growth, continental growth, corporation growth or corporate growth. It might be communal growth. It might be personal. When every, every time your service degrade, declines or goes down, your economic situation will be affected. Finances will be affected. Business opening will several things will be happening. Once your economy goes down, I mean your, your productivity goes down. Proverbs 10, 4. King James message. And I'm, I'm teaching, so I'm opening scriptures. I'm going to close soon. I'm opening scripture, but you need to see this. Come on, let's go. Give me message. Proverbs 10, 4. He become poor. Oh, mommy. Nobody, hey, hey, poverty does not select anybody. You are not a victim. You deliberately walked your way into it. Come on now. Come on now. Look up. Look up. Look at me. Look at my face. Look at my face. You cannot accuse God of making you poor. Everyone became. Some say became. <laughs> so I walked my way tirelessly into poverty. I walked my way tirelessly into struggles. Into frustration. It is me who walked in. He became poor that dealed with a slag hand. But the hand of the diligent make it. If you can just get up and walk well, walk hard, stop excusing yourself, riches will come. But if you handle things lazily, they give you this to do you. If it doesn't succeed, the other one scatters. They say, do, ah, you're always giving us a reason why it cannot work in your hand. Hey! That's when poverty comes. Give me message. The same scripture. Slot makes you poor. Slot, laziness. Floppiness. Two, before you can carry food to your mouth, three hours. One ball of gario. You have become a three hour clock. And then finally, when it gets to one hour, one o'clock. There are people like that too. Yesterday in my house, I went to the toilet and brought somebody out. Get out. Come out now. Now. You 
You can't live with me. Oh. Get out. Come, 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 come. come out. Now. I opened the door. Come out. Even a woman who wants to deliver has delivered in five minutes. Have you heard that before? Before the doctors could carry pen and paper. Praise God. NIV, NIV, NIV. Okay, okay, no, no, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Let's finish it. Slot make it you makes you poor. Something made you poor. Something makes you poor. So if you don't want that poverty, kill this guy here. NIV, NIV, quick, 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 NIV. Run. Lazy hands make a man poor. It is not God. Stop blaming God. What have I really done? Is it that my sin is bigger than everything? No, sin is not the reason for poverty. Shh. On even, let's answer it. Sin is not the reason for poverty. There are sinners who are making money. That's why prosperity is not a sign of spirituality. You need to hear these things too. Because we are confusing things up. Oh. Eh? <laughs> Lazarus at the gate of the rich man was very righteous. But he was a poor man. He went to heaven first flight. The poor man, the rich man that gave him food didn't go. <laughs> Poverty can make a child of God serve a child of Satan. And this is the greatest embarrassment of our world when the sinner is your boss. The believers should hire sinners and show them the magnanimity of our God. When the reverse is the case, it's a colossal error. And laziness is the reason. NLT, then amplified. Let's go. I might not bother you again. I have several of them, too many of them, but I will not. I'll just go one, one, one version. Let's go. NLT. Lazy people are soon. Where are you now? If you are not in the line called poverty and you are still seeing lazy around you, very soon. Check it out. Check it out. Hard workers get rich. Hard workers get rich. Slap it and say, hey, work hard. Hit him and say, hey, wake up. Why are you sleeping by 9 o'clock? Get working. Hard workers get rich. You don't stop it. It's a principle. The wisest man in the world said it. Give me amplified. Let, let's close it. <laughs> he becomes poor who walks with a slack and idle hand. But the hand of the hard worker makes what? Rich. Say it loud, amen, somebody. Now, let me close in a short while. Uh, let me show you in, in a short while seven ways God wants to see work. I mentioned them, I just leave. I just run. Seven, how do you must you what, what should be your perspective to work? Because I said in first seven, how you see work determines how you do work. I said again, how you see work determines what you get out of work. I said, how you see work determines the blessings you get from work. Now, what God wants to see work differently from the way the world see work. One, he says, see work as the blessing that reveals, reveals what you can do as a person. Genesis eleven six. Anything you see, you, you say you can do, and you see you can do, nothing can stop you from doing it. Once you see I can do it, I want to do it, I believe I can do it, nobody can stop you. That's why Paul said, I can do how many things? He overtook Peter. I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do all things. Overtook Peter. He never saw Jesus face to face apart from that vision. But overtook. Hard working. Hard working. <laughs> work is the master key to releasing potentials. It is the only true hard work. 
that the treasures trapped inside us can find expression. There is so much inside you hiding. So much inside you covered. So much inside you meant to raise you to the highest height. But it is through work that they bust out and express themselves. If you don't walk, you won't know yourself. Look up. Let me say that again. You don't walk, you will never know who you are. You will never know what you can do. You will never know what God has planted inside you. The more you walk, the better you realize you can do more. It is work that unveil, unveils your power, your capacity, your process. Now look at Matthew. See work as the ladder to your high places in life. Some say ladder. Say ladder. Say this work. Come on, say it again. Say this work will not kill me. Will not bring me down. It will take me higher. Say again. Say my work was not given to me to bring me down or to kill me. Nobody dies for hard work. People die out of laziness. Your work is the ladder that takes you to your high places. Proverbs 22, 29. King James Version. Come on, see as thou a man, diligent in his business. He shall not stand low down there. He shall stand high up there. <laughs> Before kings is also rock. Before king is White House. Before king is that government house in London. It's hilltop mansion. If you can work hard, you are on your way to higher places. You still idle, you will end up a loafer. Look at message Bible quickly, for time's sake. Quickly, message. Observe people who are good at their work. Go down. Go down. Next verse. Let me hear what was there, baby. <laughs> Let me hear what's there. Yeah. Skill workers are always in demand and admired. They don't take a back seat to what to anybody. Oh Jesus, anybody take this microphone. I beg you. Come, 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 come. Re read it, read it. Observe people who are good at their work. Skilled workers are always in demand and admired. Pick your microphone. Papa, I have, I have some applications. They have not called me. I went for an interview and I've not gotten a job. It is eight years since I finished school. And I, I, what is going on? It's not a witch. Witches don't stop everybody. We have, been, we have been so corrupted in our generation that we are blaming everything on diabolism. There are people from worse family than your family who are succeeding big time. Skill workers are always in demand. People are still looking for skill workers. Show me your skill. Which skill do you have? Play keyboard. Nyaka, 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 nyaka. Yeah, who are you? What do you do? I'm a keyboardist. By your own. Skill workers. They, why they say there's no job? They are still taking proof from other company to that company. Who are good on their job. Skill workers are always in demand. Hey. When I stumble on it in this Bible, I said, Father, my world must look for me. 